What are you scared of? I will, no, I agree I'm that- I'm so scared of almost, I know this sounds terrible, but I'm scared of the idea that Israel loves me so much and just like you said, like Adam, that that almost encourages letting yourself go, where you wake up but one day and you, for me, it, that's getting lazy though. I think there's yeah. a difference between uh, it, letting yourself, yourself go, go and getting lazy. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. part of letting yourself go is knowing that you're so confident because you know how to go right back when you're feeling exactly. it. But right Absolutely. now, you're but, neutral. Yeah, but at some point, if it goes too far, like if we're realistic, there are some people that they would say, oh, she let herself go, she's gained. 40 pounds or whatever, and they'll say, that that's, I just recently lost 20 pounds, so that's not easy to do. That's but not no. easy to wake up one day and go, oh, I've decided to get it back together. I have 100 pounds. But much not easy. like I always tell you, you in your 30s. You're not even 35 yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's gonna come a time in your life, and she just said it, and she just said it, is that you're gonna, it's gonna come, and I, I hope that we're still on this show, because I want you to be able to say it so I can rerun and, and show this tape this day <laughs> that I told you, Lonnie told you, it's gonna come a time when you're not gonna think about anybody else, but one day you'll look in the mirror and if you felt like you let yourself go, you're like, oh, I gotta get my you'll stuff change. together. Because what you told me- Y'all didn't tell me I was 20 pounds overweight. But you because didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't but look great. Like, I, the you internet told people me less people like, oh, oh, here's oh what they say. Hey. Oh, wait, don't even tell oh, us. You no. did not lose weight you, because of the people oh. on the internet. You know good and well, Jeannie, if we're going to keep it real, you yes. know I was 20 pounds overweight. I'm, I'm no, going to promise are. you right now, Bible, you looked amazing at whatever weight you've been on. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, but... You yeah, may feel is. a certain different way, but I swear there has never been a time that I was like, oh, oh her health wow. is in check she, here. Yeah. Like, I'm not here to, t I'm, oh my God. No, I, I can't I believe really I'm here. Say it, say no, it. because you're gonna have a baby. You're gonna, you're gonna go through ups and downs. You're gonna go through stresses. It's just you young right now. Your metabolism is different, everything. As you get no, older. That's how it happened. My metabolism slowed down at 30. But you were fine. That's why we wasn't yeah, tripping. Yeah. We never said, I can't, I can't 15, 20 pounds all the time. I wish somebody would tell me <laughs> I'm too big to be on TV. Yeah. But, but girl, you, you don't stop. It, but what Adrian is saying is real. This is what you go through. I, I, I swear, there's something really beautiful that happens between 30, 35, and I yes. gotta wait for 40. But you really do care a lot more because you're just conscious of it and you're confident and you're, the blessing is you're able to look good 20 plus or where you are right now. But wait till that moment happens where letting go is I letting feel like God, you're man, and I feel go. so good. But you're yeah, not you're gonna let go. Though. I don't, okay. don't want to let go. Yeah. I, I don't want to wake up and just go, I don't care and it's not so much about people it's that one day I woke up and I was like oh my god I really have gained this weight and I don't fit my like this is real life you guys like I saw photos of myself and was like I don't like the way I look and I would talk to you guys about it but I didn't know that that was even happening or that I had let myself go I just woke I up will, one day and was like I, oh my god I will tell you this okay. though what I did notice was that you were really happy last yeah. year, do you know what I mean? So yeah. that's what I was focusing on. Yeah. I wasn't focusing on your, your body. Mm -hmm. I was happy that I saw you the happiest that I've ever seen you. Yep. Yes. 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 Did you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yes. You were happy. And, scared, and we always you... talk about having kids and I love that Tamara's so honest. Oh, I love think... that we have like real woman conversations together. So like we talk about like, okay, you're gonna gain this weight. And yes, I do wanna plan to have a family, but that's like my biggest, fear right now is that like I'll wake up one day and not feel like myself or I'll be like oh my god I completely let myself go and yes comments are harsh you guys yeah, they are. like they're really harsh like it's hard so imagine if I'm gonna have a child if I'm gonna go on that journey to wake up one day and not feel like myself to feel like I've let myself go to feel like oh my god I haven't dyed my hair I haven't taken care of myself I almost want to just be conscious of not letting go, so I'll find myself somewhere in the middle. Does that make sense? That makes yeah. sense. It's, it's it just going to be a process, you yes. know? And I'm going to tell you something, because I don't want you to get upset. When you gain 10 pounds, I gain 10 pounds. That way, I always look bigger than you <laughs> sitting here, okay? You don't have to worry That's about that. That's the type of friendship we have here at the <laughs>